So, I'm seriously um, losing my phone because I want to, because I can't have anything to do with death. And that would be Satan pretending a lot of narcissists. Um, he's completely out of his mind. He never wanted to do anything but to take me as social security. And the only reason why... I mean, it, it, it's useless. My husband, he never ever heard me out. My husband tried. Okay, he really did. And they said to me, well, you can't get SSDI anymore. But you can get SSI. And I'm sorry, it's only going to be about 500 How can $500 help me out in any way? A month. I mean, of course it can, but it's not enough to live on at all. It by any means. And besides that, my oldest had that for about three years, a little more. It, it doesn't matter about him, how much, you know, all the help that he got, all the help that per, the paternal aunt narcissist gave her boy alien. Yeah. All he wants to do is torture me. I can't get social security because of the dilemma of the hell. I can't get it. Right? I, I, because of all their lies. So I'm not getting it. And he can't fa He He'll drive me there. And he'll wait in the car. Oh my god. You know, he won't drive me to the grocery store the entire four months when I want to go to the grocery store. When I, I was forced to live with him. Right? Never one time gave me my, my food stamp card that he locked away in his car for approximately two months. Never ever did one thing for me that I wanted to do. Hey, maybe, maybe I wanted you to drive over to the one giant where I got delicious roast beef. Awesome. Or, or, or go drive to Smiley's. No, we can, you know, never ever drove me anywhere. But he's going to drive me to Social Security. You know, he's such a, a waste of existence to me. I, I can't, you know, I can't deal with him throwing all his hell on me. The only reason why he'd take me to Social Security is he wants me super late. He wants me to be labeled super crazy. So that I'm his lifeline. And I've been his lifeline this entire, uh, when I met him in 1999. I've been his lifeline because he was able to talk about me to all his wonderful friends of how crazy I am. And that's the first thing on his, on his, uh, agenda to tell every single person how crazy, how super crazy I am. I make up stories. I was never ever harmed, let alone raped. I was never raped once in my life or harmed in any way. I just make up all these stories. I'm super crazy. And the only reason why he got me that phone that will be turned off around my birthday. The only reason is to get social security. And the only reason why he wants to be out of social security is to have me um, forever illegally labeled super crazy that's the only reason he's super evil he's the most craziest insanest person i've ever met he had it made for the whole time i known him his little apartment's only 500 it's a half de it's decent nice kitchen Nice little living room area, nice bedroom area, nice bathroom. And he fucked it all up. And he has a thousand dollars cash. And then he got two hundred thousand dollars in loans that he just gave away. Might as well just burn it up. Might as well have given it to Jim and Tammy Baker. There you go. No, he, he absolutely made no sense at all. He, he runs to work every day and to Walmart. He walks home from Walmart. And you know why he does this? 
Cause he's real sick. 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 Ugly old man. Cause he probably harmed another person. Like me in his life. And he can't take the torture of what... I mean, he can't take the reality of what... How he tortured his other victim in his life before he met me. Okay? So whoever else he tortured, whether it be a boy or a girl, whoever else he tortured, he can't... He has that guilt that he can't deal with. So then that's what made him work all the time, night and day, at Walmart. Oh, I have to, I, I'm working at Walmart. I'm working at Walmart. Oh, I, I, I don't have a ride home. I have to walk home from Walmart to Lancaster? Oh, my God. Why? Because he did wrong. He tortured another girl or boy. And his, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I, it could have been an adult. Whatever he did, you know. He tortured another human being. He tortured another individual. He can't accept all the torture that he's done. So that's why he worked 24-7. And walking home. And, and he wants people to feel sorry for him. Oh, why, why are you why are you even working? Why don't you enjoy your life for once and like watch cool movies and I don't know um <coughs> listen to good music, do some crafts. You can't do crafts, you know. Watch, you know, help other people. Do you know? Do something with your li life, you know. <clears throat> um, give food out, fill the food boxes for the needy, give them, you know, make food boxes up for them, fill up the potatoes, make sure the potatoes are all, all in good shape, no rotted potatoes, no rotted, um, maybe, you know, be the, you know, the production of, you know, putting the boxes together, or, you know, a particular part of food, you know, um, do something good, something productive, something, um, anything. No, he, he's tor he tortures himself working a million hours at Walmart, walking home, walking home. Oh, I, my, my car is freaking down. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. But I work at Walmart. And I walk home. <laughs> this is the way he, he ain't the way he did this whole life. He didn't make any sense. Never, ever made any sense. What, what, you know, why are you doing that? Why don't you, why don't you ever enjoy one day in your life? Yeah. You know? He went to a convention center. All the people he took down, they took advantage of him. They were supposed to pay gas money. He paid all the gas money. Or whatever it was. Yeah. I, I mean, he allowed himself to, to be taken advantage of. Like, why don't you get the people's money up front before they get into your vehicle to go? And if they don't give me any money, just say, well, you know what? I'm not going to the convention. Because you guys are supposed to pay me. You're not going to pay me? Well, then, well, just forget about it. Should, maybe you should take a picture of a vehicle before. And, uh, <laughs> we'll just have a little kid. He has enough money. He had $200,000. What the fuck? Have a little tiny camera on your shirt. Take pictures of so-called thug friends that are gonna rip you off. Have it, you know, have it filming the whole time. Film your car and the thugs that are gonna rip you off. And if they destroy your car, then you have them on your little camera on your shirt. Whatever. He could have done whatever he wanted his whole entire lifetime. Let's say he sits in front of his mom's old TV set. 
and watches old shit. And watches really fucking crazy shit like piss on the grave. Like, I really needed to see that. That doesn't help me out. Yeah, I was raped. Oh, I should torture my rapist? Like, that really helps me out? It destroyed, you know, it makes it worse for me to, to think, oh, well, maybe I, you know, put bad thoughts in my head, you know. No, I don't want to destroy, I don't want to take their hell and put it on me and, 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 and be worse with it. So that's what she, you know, yeah, she was tortured. That doesn't mean she needs to be worse than them. And that's what that movie was all about. She was worse than her torturers. Piss on the Grave is a horrifying movie. She was raped in the, in the swamps and uh, raped really bad. But for her to go turn around and torture the guys that she tortured. And he likes, you know, a sick mind will watch the entire movie. Like, I can't. I can't watch Sybil anymore. I could never, ever watch that movie again. It's a horrifying movie. But he likes it. That That's his entertainment. You know, he wants to be able to watch all this horrible shit with him. His mom's old TV. This is his life. He thinks he's a great person and great to be around. Good entertainment. What the hell? He's a horrifying individual. Like, just a horrifying person. And he can't admit to it. Yeah. He does the worst things. You know, I, you know, fine. My fans turned off my birthday. It should have been turned off fucking six months ago. He threatened to turn it off six months ago. So why, why aren't you turning it off yet? Because you he's a bullshitter. A total bullshitter. He has to threaten me to try to see me again. Well, maybe I'll... Maybe someone will feel sorry for me and pay for my phone. And that'd be... Or... Help me out. I mean, really help me out. My phone's hacked. I don't even want it. So I, I want to be really helped out. You know, 